Welcome to the SMS spoofing practical lecture. In this lecture, we will be learning how you can spoof SMS using the SMS API tools. SMS spoofing is a technique where the sender impersonates the source name to make it appear to be coming from a trusted site. To trick the user into thinking that the SMS is coming from a trusted site. So the first tool we will be learning about is text belt. This tool provides SMS API for developers to send the SMS campaigns. In the next lecture, we will be learning about OH SMS API. So let's discuss about text belt in this lecture. Click on this link to open text belt site. Here you can see the text belt interface. They have given a lot of information about this tool. And as you can see, you get a free message per day but this service is temporarily unavailable in india so what we can do is uh, we can go and purchase the sms you can use the curl command to text as they have given a lot of documentation so you have to go ahead and generate an api key which will be needed when you send the sms so click on create an api key it will generate an api key for you as you can see and here they have provided the cost per sms as you can see here you can select the area here as i am in asia i will select the asia you can even select to worldwide but the prices increase you can pay with credit card or paypal which is kind of convenient and if you are unhappy with their service you can even return and ask for refund and they will send you the payment for unused text messages once you purchase the sms go on your system where python is installed so i am on my linux system copy the python script they have provided click on copy go to any text editor you want and paste the script here so i am using their free text message functionality if it doesn't work for you you have to Purchase the key and paste it in the key field. So in the phone number field, paste your phone number here. I will type 91 and the followed by my phone number. And in the message field, type in the message you want. So I will just type coding the SMS API. And in the key field, make sure you paste your key which you got from text belt. After completing the changes, make sure you save the script. I will click on file and save as. So I will save it on the desktop. Name it as sms.py and save. Once saved, I will go to my terminal here where the script is located. If I do ls, you will see the sms.py here. So type in python sms.py and execute the script. We should expect an sms on this mobile screen here after executing the script. Click on enter. The script will take some time to load and send the sms. It should arrive any minute now. As you can see success equal to true. Wait for a bit and the sms will be here. So this is the SMS I received which I sent just now. Open my SMS and here you can see the SMS we just typed in our terminal coding the SMS API. So in our terminal it shows success equal to true and the remaining quota is zero because we only got one SMS for a day. So that's it for this video. In the next lecture we will learn about another SMS API.